I'm Sarah Powell from the University of Texas at Austin, and right now we're focused on how to divide fractions using the area model. The area model means that we can take any area, and if that area can be divided into equal parts, it can be used to show a fraction. And we're going to use an area model to divide 5 sixths uh, by 1 third. Now we're going to use the area model of fraction circles. You can also do this with a geo board. And I'm also going to do a drawing a little bit later, which will show a rectangular area divided into equal parts. The important thing with division is what does division of fractions actually mean? And here we're going to interpret this as one third divide, or I'm sorry, not one third divided by five sixths. How many groups of one third can we make if we have five sixths? Again, how many groups of one third can we make if we have five sixths? Six. So let's see what this looks like with our fraction circles. So here's my problem over here. I have five six divided by one third. So I'm going to show five six. So I'm going to get out my fraction circle and I'm going to show uh, five six of this area as filled by these blue pieces right here. All right. So there we have five six and it's an area divided into equal parts. Now I want to figure out how many one-third pieces, so I'm going to go ahead and bring that in right here, how many one-third pieces we can make if I have five-sixths. So let's see, I can make one full one-third piece, notice how it's covering both of those five-sixths pieces. I can make a second full piece, and then we get up here, all right? I can't fill this entire one-third piece, but I'll actually place this on top to kind of show, I can show one half or fill one half of that one third piece with my final one sixth piece. So what is our quotient? I can make one, two, and one half, put that right there, uh, groups when I ha ask myself, how many one third groups can you make with five six. Now I can also draw this for students, and so I'll go ahead and do that now. So I'm going to figure out how many groups of one third I can make if I have five six. So I'm going to draw a rectangular area, and that rectangular area is going to represent uh, five six. So I'll go ahead and draw that right there. All right, that's about uh, six equal parts. And our fraction is 5 6, so I'm going to go ahead and shade five of those six parts. And I'm going to just shade them quickly here so I can get to doing my division. All right? All right, there we go. All right, so we have 5 6. And I want to figure out how many one third groups we can make if we have 5 6. So I have to think about, well, what does a one third group look like? Well, on this visual, I kind of set this one up nicely. I can see that I have one, two, three equal parts. So a one-third group is really two of these one-sixth pieces. So I'm going to take a different colored marker and I'm going to, well, that's going to be squeaky, woo! I'm going to ring a one-third group. So I can make one full group of one-third. I can do that again. Here's a group of one-third, woo, with my pink marker. I can make a second group of one-third, but then here, if I ring this one-third group that represents one-third, I can, do not have a, a full group there. So how much of the next group of one-third do I have? We have one half of it, okay? So when I find one-third, uh, how many groups of one-third can I make with five-sixths, my quotient is two and one half. I can make two full groups of one third and then one half of the next group. So this is my answer or my quotient. So that was an example or actually two examples of how we can use the area model to divide fractions. I hope you'll tune into some of our other stair tailored sessions where you can see what we can do with the length model and what we can do with the set model.